important questions that requires immediate answer. Now, and it's a question that I'll take two today, but I'll also give you room. If you have any question bothering your mind that you feel you need an answer, you write it down, maybe put it in the basket, in the offering basket. I will put it among those that will be treated next week. Now, let's look at this question. Now, to take our basis, our base, let's base it on the Bible. Is it proper to ask questions like this in church? In Matthew 7, 7, let's use Matthew 7, 7 to start. Increase my volume a bit. Now, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, put it on screen. I want everybody to see it. Now, these are questions that are very relevant to what is happening now. Let's read together after the count of three. One, two, and let's go. Ask, and it shall be given, given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. You know, last week Sunday, I was just praying and trusting God to continue a topic. And God said, son, pause. And attend to this question. Now, it's a question that is relevant to the body of Christ all over the world. Now, what is question number one that we want to see? I wrote here, sir, why is it that this present election did not favor the believers? Upon all the prayers prayed and the prophecies declared, why did God keep quiet for a Muslim Muslim candidate to win? Is it not that God doesn't hear or answer prayer again? Is it that God doesn't hear or answer prayers again? Now, do you know that because of this past election, let me come again with the question somebody of you are writing down. Sir, why is it that this present election did not favor the believers upon all the prayers prayed and the prophecies declared? Why did God keep quiet for a Muslim Muslim candidate to win? Is it that God doesn't hear or answer prayers again? Hmm. I believe it will be in your heart too. I was reading somebody's answer, you know, somebody's uh, uh, speech online. And the person said, this is why I hate the God of the Christians. Allow him to express. He expressed himself. He said he does not worth serving him at all. He said, in fact, I have said this from the beginning that he will not answer. I don't think he even exists. Now, when he said it, I smiled. But God said, do you know that this question is also bubbling in the hearts of so many people? And God gave me an answer to it. I want everybody to learn this morning. We have two questions and I'll close the service. And this first question, when I took my time to find out, hear me. This was the answer I got. We are going to explain. The answer to this question is very clear. Prayer and prophecy alone is not strong enough. It's not strong enough to get everything done. Prayer and prophecy alone is not strong enough to get everything done. Do you know that there are people that are neglecting what they are supposed to be doing? are in the prayer place praying oh god lano open doors lord dollars lord runs now so many people are praying there's nothing wrong with praying but i always say it and i'll keep saying it prayer does not suspend the use of your brain now stop thinking that god will do everything god can do everything but god will not do everything if God does everything, hear me, he himself will be breaking his own laws. Now, the laws by which he established the earth. So, if all you do is to say, ah, I need to be in church, I need to pray, I need to hear the man of God, prophesy to my life, prophesy to my life. With prophecy and prayer, I will make it. It's a lie. Prophecy and prayer is not enough. I will tell you what we didn't do, but let's read this scripture so that you can understand. I will tell you what we didn't do that made it like that. In Genesis chapter 16, let's go there. Uh, chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. 
Genesis chapter 6, 13 to 17. While they are bringing up that scripture, I'm reading on. Prayer and prophecy alone is not strong enough to get everything done. We need to do what we have to do. Either before or after we must have prayed. There are certain things we must do. Please find out for me why are the children holding their ears and jumping up in the children's church. It's not a camp. They are holding their ears and jumping up. It's not a camp. children did like this and I asked the auntie what happened I come to this class your children are always holding their lips are they refugees children remove your hands one shaking prayer hmm? they didn't bring pen and book. Hey, you don't do that into children we we'll talk okay after that. Now come here. Let's read that scriptures. Let's read that scriptures. Let's read that scripture. And God said unto Noah, listen to this: the end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. I will destroy everything I've created. Move to the next verse. And God said unto Noah, I have taken this. Show me the next verse. Be very, very fast. We don't have all the time. And this is the fashion. Which thou shalt, verse, we have missed verse 14. 14. Let me read from here. If they don't have 14 in their own back. Make thee an ark. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shall thou make in the ark. And shall pitch it within and without with pitch. Then verse 15 says, and this is the fashion which thou shalt make of it. Now look up. I want you to look, pay attention. God said, I want to destroy the old earth. But God said to Adam, build an ark. Now, why could God not build the ark by himself? Now, the ark that will save Adam and, uh, sorry, that will save Noah, his wife, his children, their wives, and some animals was not built by God. The design was given by God. If you go and read that, God gave him the length, gave him the breadth. God told him the kind of wood that he will use, but God did not build the ark. Listen, there is a role that God will play. There is a role that man will play. God will never play the role of man. Man can never play the role of God. What did we do wrong in this past election? Should I tell you the truth? The truth, while there's Muslim, Muslim ticket today, there could be full and full and ticket next time. There could be Hindu, Hindu ticket another time. The reason is because none, the Christians that are playing politics at the grassroots are very few. We have been so much taught, heaven is our home, yes! But we have forgotten that the earth is our present location. You don't win election by prayers. You don't win election by prophecies. You win election by what? By voting. Now, how did it even become Muslim, Muslim ticket per se? How did it become? Now, remember that there's what we do in every uh, political party. They have what we call primaries. In the primaries, you will see that the candidates will be presented at the primaries. Hello, look at me. Concentrate. The primaries, the candidates will be presented. Now, they could present 10 candidates. Anyone that wins at the primary level is what the party will present. Now, where were the Christians when they were doing the choosing at the primary? Ah, Simbe now. Kosaye, Tori Pekini, at so much belief, we, Ijoba Runile, Ejagba Ben Pati Aye. Heaven is our home. But this is our passage. This is where we are for now. It means that, listen, if we as Christians don't begin to join party systems, nothing will change at the top. Hello, am I communicating? If I ask you, which party do you belong? Some of you don't have party. 
Now, how can you change the people they are presenting to us? You can't change the people at the top because they have done the primaries. They have finished choosing them. It is only the court that can say, oh, the primary did not go well. Stop. Your prayers cannot stop them. So this one that we now started praying, oh, no, 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 to Muslim, Muslim ticket, no, to Muslim, Muslim ticket, no, to... it's medicine after death. Christians should begin to wake up to understand doing the right thing. God didn't build the ark. He only told Noah what to do. And Noah built the ark, finished the ark. God brought the rain. Where are we? We are in verse 16. A window shall thou make to the ark. And look at this, God told him the measurement. And a cubit shall thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shall thou set in the side thereof with lower, sorry, with lower second and third stories. Shall thou make it, verse 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring the flood. That's what God will do. I will bring the flood. I will bring the flood of water upon the earth to destroy the flesh wherein the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is on the earth shall die. I wrote here, I want you to pay attention to two things here. The role of God and the role of man. God brought the ideas of the flood and the ark. But man built the ark until man stand up to do what is expected of him. Prayer will continue to fail. Until man stands up to do what is expected of him. Prayers will continue to fail. We are not doing what we are supposed to do. And we pray. Uluwa jo. Uluwa jo. Uluwa shanumi. Uluwa go go for lemi. Olo nuki go go for leo. You know why we sing out Igbo go for lemi? We are only singing that song to humble ourselves before God. He she ko leniwa. So prayers will continue to fail if man doesn't take stand up to his responsibility. Let us stop thinking that everything about this life we just been working by miracle, by miracle, by miracle. I was in South Africa, Johannesburg, for just nine days. Do you know that every day they were carrying me out to throw, showing me different places. For nine days, I did not hear the sound of a horn. One, the horn. Po, po, po. I did not hear the sound of a horn for nine days. How many? Nine days. So I had to ask my host, is it that all the cars that are in Johannesburg does not have horn? I didn't hear the sound of the horn. He said, sir, in this place, the law is binding. Everybody knows what to do. They will apply the horn on you when you don't know what to do, when you are doing what you don't know what you are doing. I mean, what you are doing. That you don't know that it's an insult to use horn on people. I say, eh. Ah. In Nigeria, if our horn is not working, we can't drive. Oh. <laughs> Because somebody may even decide to receive call and somebody may want to buy bread and stop. Now, what is the problem with our country? We are not doing what we are supposed to do. God will take care of Nigeria. God won't take care of Nigeria. He has put Nigeria in our hands. Now, if I want to go further now, I want to ask, if I say, let me ask, how many of you in our church participated in the past election? How many voted? Let's be sincere. Okay, let's do that test. Let's do that test. Thou shalt not lie. All liars shall have their part in the burning lake of fire. You voted in the last election, presidential election. Stand up. Stand, remain standing, I'm waiting. Are you going to the card? Are you going? Okay, I've got it. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Only eleven people voted in this church with the number of people here. And you'll be part of those that will be praying. Holua, Obi. Abby, you two didn't vote. Okay. So when they are praying, Lord, it's Obi. Obi, Obi. You are the ones that disappointed Obi. Sit down, sit down. You were shouting on Facebook, Obi, 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 Obi. But on the day of election, you didn't come out. I want you to understand something. You know what I want to use that thing to sh show you this morning? I want to show you that it's not that God doesn't answer prayers. But God will answer prayers when you do what you are supposed to do. If you are praying over zero, it's like you are using one million to times zero. One million times zero. What's the answer? Zero. Hey, to mama asini. million times zero is zero. That one million will be lost. So, prayers and prophecies will continue to fail when people don't do what they are supposed to do. Now, let's go on. Let me take my reading. Prayer and prophecies failed because we, we thought God will just do everything for us. The error in our politics from Christians is this. We do not practice politics from the grassroots. We are not involved at the party level. How I wish every pastor can start teaching their members. Go join politics at the grass level. Now there was a church in Ukraine before their war started. The pastor of that church was a Nigerian. Reverend Sunday Adelaja. He pastors the largest church in Ukraine. He had an issue with the president before and told the president, we will remove you. My church will remove you from your seat. And he went to church. Beloved, 90% of the Senate were members of his church. They sat at the Senate and they impeached the president. Even our father in the Lord, Pastor Adibwe, cannot say to the president in this nation, that we will remove you. Because the percentage at the Senate that are Christians, even the ones that they say they are Christians, are they born again? Are they committed in any church? The reason is this, listen to me. Some of us have been wrongly taught. In our pursuit for making heaven, we have neglected the earth. Now, and you can use this same principle on every aspect of your life. Before you begin to pray, or after you have prayed, find out what is expected of you and do it. By the time you must have done it, eh, eh, prayer will now become like you have cooked rice, you want to put stew on it. But don't leave what you are supposed to be doing and be praying. Ulua, just like a man came to meet me in my office, he, he said he was coming from the mountain. He has been fasting for 30 days. If you see the man, very skinny. He said, God now told him to come to my office to meet me so I will give him money to break his fast. Imagine, you have been fasting for 30 days. Me, I have not fasted for 30 days. Your fasting didn't bring money. Fasting and prayer does not bring money. Tell your neighbor, fasting and prayer, tell him, tell him, does not bring money. Mm, I didn't hear you. Tell him what brings money is working hard, working smart, and giving. That's why the Bible says, give, and it shall be given back to you. When I want money, I don't pray. When I want money, I sow seed. And when I sow seed, I position myself well with my work to gain my harvest back. Is it too hard for you? Are you learning something? Or you are angry? Listen, the error, like I said, 
in our politics is this. We do not practice politics from the grassroots. Some even don't, they didn't come out to vote, like I said, and we expect to win. The result will continue to be like this until we wake up to our responsibility. If we don't do things that we ought to do while praying, we will continue to experience unfavorable results. This same thing is happening in several marriages. If you don't have character and you are praying, your marriage can't last. What makes home to last is not prayer. Let me come again. What makes marriage to last is not prayer. What makes marriage to last is character. It's like you are angry this morning. Question number two. Let me reduce the monitor a bit. Question number two. Hmm. I was afraid to preach this one because I know that some of my leaders will be angry with me. But God said I should go ahead. Where did the several prophecies about the results of the just concluded election that several ministers prophesied saying Obi Atiku will win come from? And when I saw tell it, I went on she alone so I had somebody say it. One even say, if Obi didn't win, he will go back. No, he said, if Tinubu should win, he will go back to shrine to worship Ifa. Another one say, I see, I see the day of election. On the day of uh, inauguration, yes, Tinubu was arrested, handcuffed, ah. and Obi was brought in. That's a film. <laughs> Sir? Balabulu, okay. You know, and Obi will sound be lifted up. And everybody, I watch it, I watch it, I watch it live. And the pastor, and the people in the congregation will say, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where did all these prophecies come from? God said I should treat it. You know why God, you know I used to teach you. I used to teach you. You don't take any man of God as your main source of hearing God. The moment you are born again, every child of God should be committed to his Bible. See, all these prophecy, prophecy, they are using it to cause havoc in the body of Christ. You will see that if we put up a program and I bring all these people that say they are seeing vision, you will see how cloud we fool this place. I used to bring them before now. Ah, 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 Moriro, Moriro, Arabian. You know, I used to say, hey, yes, sir, yes, sir. Sherry, Allah, Allah, if you want share, sing, bang, God purposely make, brought them a public shame so that we can learn that you don't live your life by prophecy. I'm coming somewhere. I've not answered the question. No. One, God to call out Lotus program. I watched that one too. He said, Baba, it means suffering. He said, Kusibo. Kusilection, yes. And it's in Umbuoni Tibet. Yesterday, we were listening to the news. And on Fresh FM, they said, and the, answer, the person said in Yoruba, Muhammad, uh, 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 Thank you.
This man said there will not be election. And it's in the holy day. And I call it Lua Luso for me. That's why I see under this one, I want to show you the three sources of prophecy. So that you can learn. Because some of you, these are the people that you are allowing them to run your lives for you. And because of one prophet, some people are not in their husband's house anymore. If I tell you cases of people have and in fact, some of you are here, you are here. I'm just your pastor by mouth, but I'm not your pastor for real. Any other? Change your seat. A day, change your seat. Change your seat. Quality, change your seat. We'll continue at home. Now, back to what we're saying. And these prophets are destroying life. I always ask people, is God that less busy? Somebody will pray for three minutes. He has vision for ten people. And you know, our people, I don't know, people are so naive. Yes, sir, what did you see, sir? What did you see, sir? Did God make so, about 10 magnifying glass? As he's closing, he's seen 10 videos. God doesn't work like that. The error that we are in is the error of the Holy Spirit. Now, the days of prophets in the Old Testament, it came, it has gone. I come again. The days of prophets in the Old Testament, it came, it has gone. Now, what is existing now is what we call the spirit of prophecy. God can give you grace to see certain things. But prophecy should not run your life because God does not always speak. What do you need to know? He has put it here in the word. But when you attend church, nobody is seeing anything. They say, I always ask, my brother in law, he came to our church for one that first night. Ah, I said, brother. Hey, Lord church in it. He said as he was entering the church for crossover service, he said the prophet said, Ah, he said it asked him, said, Is this what I'm going to do again to the new year? <laughs> this man has always been seeing battles for me. Now he, he just turned back and came here. God does not govern the earth by prophecies. He governs the earth by principles. Find principles you will excel. Write that one down. God does not govern the earth by prophecies. He governs it by principles. Find principles you will excel. The principles we refuse to find is what the unbelievers are finding and prospering. But because we are, we have, instead of us to search for principles, we are looking for prophecies. That's why some people are still where they are. Now, let's answer my, the question. I want them not to change it. They have, okay, the internet is still on. Let's look at the question. Let's answer it. The big question, sorry, this is a big question that we'll, that we'll need to look into carefully. Now, let's look at Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 18. To start with. While they bring out the, uh, the, the light. I read from here. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 18. That by two immutable things. In which it was impossible. For what? For God to lie. We might have a strong consolation. Who have fled. 
for refuge, to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Now, if we bring this scripture up, what does that mean? God cannot lie. So, if they say, God said to them, eh, Uluwa sope, obilo man win, obilo de pada win, Uluwa sope ni yeo, abi? You didn't hear me. Now, if we choose it according to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18, which means God, he cannot lie. So, somebody has lied that is not God. Then I also brought up another one. In Isaiah 55, 11, some people say, eh, eh, one read geni, one read geni, to the one read geni, or alone, she was saying, Moshe, because they read it, that's why the word of God did not come to pass. Isaiah 55, 11 says, so is my word that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me empty. Void means empty. It shall not return to me void. Now let's read it. Let's read it so that we don't miss any line. Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word that so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I, I please, and it shall prosper in the thing, which I told I sent it. Also, yeah, it shall prosper in where I send it, which means, that means, Hello? Tell them to come and sit down. Let's, let them hear this one. The word of God cannot bounce back. It means that somebody missed it somewhere. That's why I'm, I'm telling you, as members of God's Five Evangelical Mission, stop living your life based on somebody say a see vision. You know, there was a time in our church too, we had one of our dickness. Anytime I'm going out for a program, I'll tell her to follow me. Maybe you want to go for house dedication, follow me. Name is ceremony, follow me. So we're training them. I just noticed that when we get there, I finish praying. The woman will just start. Hmm, you don't share me. You don't share me. You don't share me. And she'll begin to prophesy. The first time, I endure it. The second time, I endure it. We went to pray for one couple too. You don't share me. You don't share me. They have not given back to a child. Muri omo kuni in one poor. It described as a, uh, you know, it described it very, very well. I didn't say, I want you to be more disingu. Our day become a lot bless his shop. What's on shady? You don't share me. Muri again, you don't care. Tan, you don't share him. Ah, share to Ricky Muti, that can let you join. Come I take that way and you like me. Oh, Tony, I have because elderly woman, and you like me. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But you can contain so no, because you share. Timba to burn or share me, Timba to bolen me. You join any, and me at you won't be. Now, let's go, let's quickly, let's answer this. We don't have all the time. The heat is coming down. Listen to this. I wrote this down. In some occasions, hear me. In the Bible, I saw where God changed his word. But he did it with notice. I will show you two. When he said to Isaiah, go and tell King Ezekiah, he will not recover from the sickness. He will die. Listen, look up. If Isaiah had told somebody before he left home, he, ah, Sickness. No malala. All of them are bami soro. All of them are nikin losofu. Oba izikaya. Umaku. Ha. Tell the bad boy. Pass up place we can paro. Umaku. 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 Tell him to be ruined. Losi. Ah. 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 King izikaya. Umaku. Isaiah got to the place and told izikaya. Thus said the Lord, prepare your house. You shall die. The Bible says as he turned back, he was going. Izikaya prayed. And God now said to Isaiah, go back and tell him that he shall not die. What about Dickness Ali Dali? The one she has had, she has run with. <laughs> Did, are, are you getting what I'm saying? You didn't understand me. You know, she will be saying, ah, ah, if I, prophet Isaiah is fake. Because his car didn't die. Because that was the last time she had. Listen, two things, Ni. There's a possibility they had God once. 
but they didn't hear full details. God may not even be speaking about this particular election. You didn't hear me. That's why I say, if you want to serve God, when it's working, let me know. If, it wants, if you want to serve God, make up your mind to serve him. Thank God Isaiah did not tell anybody. He just stood up because he knew God. You know, that was exactly what happened to Jonah. That was why Jonah was running away. God said, go to Nineveh, prophesy in three, in three days, Nineveh shall be destroyed. Jonah said, I'm not going. He ran to Tashis. When God put him in the mouth of the fish, he came back. He went to deliver the message. He now sat down. He was waiting for Nineveh to be destroyed according to the word of the Lord. Three days, Nineveh was not destroyed. He got angry. God now said, the people prayed. I had mercy on them. You know what uh, Jonah said? He said, I knew that you will not destroy them. Are you getting what I'm saying? People are not taking time to study the God they are serving. They just see something small. Boom! The next thing. That's why I always tell them, when I see vision, I keep calm. I need to be double sure before I speak. Because prophecies can come from three sources. I'm still coming there. Look at another example again. God made a covenant with the family of Eli. Your family shall be priests before me forever. But God changed his mind later. But when God was to change his mind, he sent a priest. If you are serving God, study him. So let's look at the three sources of prophecy. One. Can I have scripture on the screen? Ezekiel 13 verse 3. Let's be fast. We don't have all the time. I think I have 10 minutes more. Ezekiel 13 3. First source of prophecy. Ezekiel 13 verse 3. Can we have it? I have it here, but I want them to see it. Thus said the Lord. Yes. 13 3. 13 3. Ezekiel 13, verse 3. So, Bubu, I want to prophesy. It's prophecy one. Was it Moshe? Can't repent. 13, 3. She's in you. 13, 3. One, two, three, and let's go. Thus said the Lord God. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. They follow their spirit. Now, their spirit could be that uh, they, they observe the way everybody is chanting, obi, 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 the way the chain is going. If I even, I or daily follow, if I or she himself said it on, on Channel TV, when they were interviewing him, he said, B has become a movement. Yes. Obedient. Obedient, yes. It has become a movement. It may be what these people look at. Your spirit can speak to you, but it does not necessarily mean the spirit of God. Your spirit can catch a vision from any source. It could be from your imagination. You know, when this under, listen, listen, this understanding I have, you know where I got this understanding from? Listen to me very well. Though. The pastor that trained me, Pastor Chinedu Osuji, I'm still looking for him till today was a solid man of God. But you know where he missed it? He isolated himself. A spirit minister to him that every other pastor have backslided is the only one left. If anybody thing is telling you that thing, that thing is a lie. He wants to destroy you. Any devil that will destroy any man must first succeed to isolate that man. So my pastor was now thinking, I'm the only faithful person. I'm the only faithful person. He cut off from all his friends. He cut off from his father's in ministry. He was now alone. Then he started getting some strange visions. I won't forget the day my pastor came to church and preached to us, he told us, he said, in the garden, there was no cloth. There was no cloth. And it's true. That the first cloth came when man sinned against God by eating the fruit. He said, so God said, cloth is not part of perfection. Therefore, he should go naked. He preached to us in church. The following week, he came naked. I'm telling you, true life, true life, a pastor came naked, and we, his followers, we do it the second Sunday. And he told us, look at me. I'm preaching from the world. Clothes came as a result of sin. 
But now that you have the righteousness of Christ, you don't need clothes again. Thank God for the Igbo Brethren Fellowship. They had it. I don't know who told them. They gathered themselves together. They came to our church that time at Okebola. A day to the service that we all will come naked. Chinedu, Megi, they were asking him. And I came out, I was his assistant. I said, My pastor is a man, man of God. There's nothing you can do. Reverend Chooks Abraham from the Hebrew Brethren Fellowship came to me and said, You, you are saying your pastor is seeing God. Have he? Kosa, the first one. Give me this other one. Kosa, give me this other one. I kept quiet. I said, Sir, my pastor is a man of God. The Hebrew Brethren did something that helped, that helped us. They went to the police station, came with police officers. They got every one of us arrested. It was the DPO that now said to the police officers, lock them up in the cell. Take their pastor to a psychiatric hospital. He's mad. <laughs> but these boys, if they don't say that vision is not of God, don't release them. Do you know what? In the night, we stood up. I called Brother Chooks. Brother Chooks, because they used to call me warrior. I was one leading prayer. Brother Chooks, he said, sir. Pastor Sam, he said, sir. How is it, sir? Remember, Paul and Silas. They say yes. So we started singing. Paul and Silas, they prayed. They sang. We were singing heavily. And all the people in the cell joined us. But one police officer was the one that opened my eyes. He just came to the cell gate. He said, you remember Paul and Silas, have you? They sing. Prison door open. If this one open, I will just shoot you. <laughs> Do you know that it now is like they pour water on me. I just sat down. Brother, I said, Brother Prince, I said, leave me alone. <laughs> Brother Sam said, Brother Prince, I said, leave me alone. I want to see the DPO. So they took us to the DPO. All of us were saying, it's not God. I said, excuse me, sir. And all of us were saying, it's God that spoke to our pastor. I said, excuse me, sir. I have realized that it's the devil that spoke to him. When they released us, I came back, I sat down with my Bible, and I said to myself, no revealed or spoken word that contradicts the written word is from God. So, can you see that prophets can get vision from their own spirit? I met a woman. He said, the prophet said, leave your husband's house. That's where the source of your battle is. When God himself said in his word, what God has joined together, let no man put us under. Listen, this shows us that a person can prophesy from his own spirit. This is from his own imagination. Neither God nor the devil spoke to him. He only imagined it without seeking the face of God. It is important you know, it is not everything that crosses your mind that is from God. It is not everything that has popular opinion that is from God. Confirm more. Jeremiah 23, 26. Show us quickly. I'll finish this very soon, we'll be going. Jeremiah 23, 26, put it on screen. I want your mindset to change, please. Don't backslide because of their prophecy, so. I want you to read correctly. God is real. Let's read together. One, two, and let's go. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceits of their own heart. If they want to get you, they just look at, ah, ah, this young man is fresh. There should be money in the house. Ah, sir, I saw you among white men. Plenty like that. You are walking around. If I want one of them carried your bag, are you a businessman? What do we say next? No, what will you say next? You will open up now. And if you look at what Jesus our Lord said in Matthew 24, he said at the end time, he said, false prophets shall arise. There is no time. Second source of, so what's the source of, uh, source, first source of prophecy? From their own spirit. The love will be, they want to be to win. They don't want Ashibaju to win. But he has won. Number two, Acts chapter 16, verse 16. 
Look at the second source of prophecy. Acts chapter 16, verse 16. Be very fast. Acts 16, 16. Let's read together. One, two, three, and let's go. And it came to pass. As we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her master much gain by suit saying. Please take it from the message Bible. Let them see. NLT and message. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We don't have time. One day, on our way to the place of prayer, a slave girl ran to us. She was a what? A physicist. Okay. And with her fortune telling, made a lot of money. Now, show me the NIV version. There's a word I'm looking for. Okay, NLT. One day, as we were going to, down to the place of prayer, we met a... We met what? We met what? We met what? What was her job? She was fortune teller. Who earned a lot? Can you see that you, people get vision from demonic spirits? As he saw Paul, he started telling you, these are servants of God. The prophecy was genuine, but from a wrong spirit. I know when the devil wants to disgrace you, he will show you accurate thing. Eh? He will now go to public and show you fake. You now declare it because all the ones that have been shown you have been correct. What the devil gave to all those prophets is open disgrace. I don't know if we'll be on one. Because Obi does not even have the structure to win. Am I communicating? Hey, will he consecrate? Will he consecrate? Why? You have your Bible. Those people are trying to bring Old Testament in the New Testament. In those days, God speaks through prophets. In today's date, God speaks through his spirit in your heart. Lastly, hmm. Jeremiah 23, 16. Number three, Jeremiah 23, 16. Can we read? King James Version, please. King James Version, please. There's no time. One, two, three, and let's go. Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Which means God also speaks. They are speaking from their own heart, but God also speaks. So a vision can come from God. How do you know a vision that is from God? Quickly. A, the message that is from God will never contradict the Bible. You know you are in school today. That's how our church is. The message that is from God will never contradict the Bible. It's just like you say a prophet came to tell you that your mother is a witch. Yes, your mother could be a witch. And the prophet is telling you, run away from your mother. Don't take care of your mother. That one is wrong. Because the Bible says, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long and that it may be well with you. Which means if you don't honor them, you can't live long. If you don't honor them, it cannot be well with you. Say here. How do you know a vision that is from God? It will not contradict the Bible. Kunita kubibeli. I've heard some young brothers will go and be telling a sister, God said you are my wife. And whether you like it or not, you are my wife. No, it takes two. The Bible says can two work together except they agree. If God is speaking to you, brother, you must speak to the sister too. Are you here? Some of you too. The devil is, the brother is saying, he says, sister, yes, I know that God is bringing us with that. But if you are not pregnant, we will not go for wedding. Uh -uh. When the Bible says you must keep the marriage bed undefiled. And the prophet says, if you don't get pregnant, you will never have a child for me again. Uh -uh. They said also now to one of our deacon, because he was crippled on both legs. A sister, he, he received a sister. And I told the sister to go and pray. The sister prayed and came and said, God said, this is my husband. Then a few days to their wedding, I mean a few weeks, uh, months to their wedding, the mother of the sister came to me and said, 
They went to the mountain to pray. The prophet said, if the sister is not pregnant before marriage, she will never be pregnant again. I told the woman, I said, mommy, look at me very well. I am Pastor Prince, we are Folabi. This one will never be pregnant before marriage. If, the, if she doesn't become pregnant after marriage, come back and tell me that God has not called me. Because God will not contradict his word. We signed an agreement in my office here. We are to be begging the brother to stop giving back to children. What caused our fight that made him to leave church was he was getting the wife pregnant and I was the one paying the bill at the hospital. And the wife will be delivering through, through operation. I will take them to the hospital. They will deliver through operation. They will now begin to call me. I will be the one to be. So I, I got angry. See, you must not give, give, get, give. As the lady used to say, Papa, he has given me pregnancy again. <laughs> See, don't give her pregnancy again. <laughs> Let's leave that. Let's leave that. B, how do you know that a message is from God? The message that is from God will be, will, sorry, will be clearly confirmed in your heart by the Holy Spirit. It will not be a mystery to you. And the last one, the message that is from God will not make you irresponsible. Now, what does that mean? If God is giving you an instruction, it, it will not do your part. It's just like somebody saying, Brother Mori, Uluani, Kiegba, we are here, Dura Uri Uchichi, come bo. Eh, Uri Tenini, Lati Shishera. It will not make you responsible. Any vision that is making you irresponsible, listen, it's not from God. Am I worried? We a monoda, a monoda, or coin a felony, Mushiri, Muriki, or coin a felony, could the felony to by monoda? A yellow, a yellow lady. Yes, stand up, stand up, stand up. Let's go. Some people are angry. Okay. <laughs> we can win election without prayers if we do what we need to do. Be on your feet. She ain't there, Fenon will leave Porto in a little one year. Keto did the Etibino Abama will leave me. Don't live your life like that, I beg you. Be a Christian according to the word of God. This is the manual that God has given us. That's how I live my life, and that's how I train my children. My daughter was asking me, where is she again? I told her to sit down where I was here. Where is Enola? Tell her to come out. He was asking me, Daddy, how can somebody know the will of God for marriage? You have forgotten. He said, can I see, if I want to date somebody, can I see into the future whether the person is good or not? I said, no. There's nothing that can make you browse in and browse out. I say, you don't say yes. Until your, you have been, the Lord has confirmed to you. And when the Lord confirmed to you, you have me as your father. Come and tell me. That's yes, all. I've prayed though. I'm just saying Kunle, 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 Kunle. I will ask you, how many things have you collected from Kunle? Yes. So that's making you to be seen. If you pass the test of that, I didn't collect anything. Let me pray. And you know, ask her, she know her mommy. That one. Before she closed her eyes, she has seen it. She's the one that will ask, Eniola, what are you doing now? I see so, so, and so. That's how to be a Christian. Not that you are waiting for somebody somewhere. A woman called me like that. Sir, I'm sending these names to you. Help me choose whether that man is her husband. I said, I'm sorry, I don't do it. She said, why? I don't do it. It's not biblical to do it. I will teach you how to pray. To hear God on your own. So please, I summarize by telling you this. All the prophets that prophesy nonsense, it's not God that told them. See how bloggers are making jests of us now on the internet. 
Or you don't know that they are making just of pastors now on the internet. Pastor wa kwa kwa pastor tie wa ni lori mo. Now the one that says he is going to become babalao, don't become babalao because your prophecy didn't come to pass. Just repent. Know that God didn't send you. You missed it. Me too have missed it before. In the days when I was coming up as a learner, most of you pastor wa ni ho ho. Gbogbo ade so po lon loran. But you know sell ni ye miti she some of you we are continuing must sell. I want on internet must sell. And we are continuing must sell. If I'm telling you, my cool boy, my team only Kelly, two one long border. But to be serious, they missed it. Will you forgive them? And what is the lesson for you? Go back to your Bible. In our relationship with God, we all are still growing. Let's begin to thank God for what you've heard. Begin to thank the Lord for what you've heard. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the worship. Appreciate him. Ask for grace to be the doer of the words that you have heard. Grace to be the doer. Grace to be the doer of the word. The Lord help me that in my relationship with you I will grow. I will grow in my ability to hear you by myself. I will grow in my ability to study the word of God. Begin to pray for yourself. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. How many of you are coming for the first time? Any first time in the house?